Washington's Dalfred Jones is there and has a first-hand look at the damage. He joins us now live with more. Dalfred. Here in Beaumont, Texas, it hasn't rained in two full days, yet many of their streets still look like this. And residents tell us that the water has been rising since Tuesday. That's when the Army Corps of Engineers opened a dam to reduce pressure as rainfall from Harvey caused water levels to rise in the reservoir. The water just kept rising. and We've been flooded ever since. And on top of that, the entire city of Beaumont, almost 120,000 residents, lost access to clean water. For now, the city is providing two cases of bottled water per household. I was just here yesterday, and I could walk past that fence right there, that brown fence. Yeah. And I come back today, and because everybody was getting water here yesterday to flush the toilets. <laughs> yeah. And come back today, and, you know. Clifford Sias lives in the Drake Edition subdivision. He says in his 40 years here, he's never seen flooding this bad. But he believes the Army Corps of Engineers should have taken a different approach to relieving the dam. They should have opened them dams up during the rain and start slowly letting that water out of there. Don't wait till it get to the, the point where it's breaching the dam. They should have been let, releasing that water so it could have slowly went down there. And this here wouldn't have happened. But right now, I got to use a boat to get back there to my house. According to city officials here in Beaumont, residents will be without clean water until the flood waters recede and officials have a chance to, receive, to assess the damage caused to the pumps. Reporting live in Beaumont, Texas, Delford Jones for KLFY News 10.